Hey YouTube, it's uh, Christmas Eve. So uh, it's crazy though. See my backyard there? No snow in Western New York. It's like 62, 63 degrees. Unreal. Uh, I'm about to go squatching right now. Uh, not really, but this is kind of uh, in response to my Bigfoot testimony video. Uh, a lot of people uh, liked it and I appreciate that uh, I've gotten a ton of responses uh, which I didn't really expect um, I do like sharing my evidence with you uh, I like hearing your stories and everything like that um, but about 70 or 80 percent of you stated I uh, I believe you you know your conviction is great uh, things like that I, I, not that I don't appreciate that I really really do and I, and I thank you because you know to have somebody believe you that doesn't even know you is is a great feat um, but I'm not looking for that I'm not looking for anybody to state hey I believe you um, I know what happened I'm just relaying the facts the evidence uh, the events that unfolded and uh, if you believe me or don't believe me it's just my way of sharing my experience with you uh, that's why I called it my testimony um, sorry it is a little windy out here but I have to enjoy it I'm on the deck you know with my pup and uh you know, it, it's not that I don't want you to believe me, because I do. I mean, I, I'm just putting it out there for everybody to see what, what has happened to me and, uh, you know, what research that I've done. Uh, I started posting uh, some photos that some people, I think, uh, they don't like it. Uh, they don't, I should say, they aren't open-minded. They're still stuck on if Bigfoot really exists. See, I'm a knower. Once all this happened, once my sightings and everything, if I can explain it the best way is I started doing research and it seems the more I research, the more the rabbit hole opens. And a lot of other things come to light that if you're closed minded, I guess you won't even see or acknowledge or take the time to go over it. So when people post something like, you know, maybe there was a porthole or maybe there's something else, lights, you know, whatever it is. Um, a lot of people, oh, that's hogwash. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, we got another nutcracker. You know what I mean? Things like that. It's not the case, man. Uh, I'm just a regular down to earth type of guy uh, who shared my experiences with you guys. And uh, I wanted to reply because some people are rude. Some people are very outspoken, and some don't think before they speak. Um, I wish that wasn't the case. But um, as far as the porthole thing, I know that pisses a lot of people off. Well, I'm not here to make friends. I'm not here... I, I don't care if you're pissed. I don't care anything. I just am sharing what has happened to me. And if I get more on camera, so be it. I mean, I, I'm not making the stuff up. You know, I, I'm just telling you what has happened to me. Um, if you can't explain it, how the hell can I explain it? I, I can't explain what it is. I mean, I, it's like you're in denial. Well, I was in denial. You know, it happened to me. And then I'm like, I, I can't disregard it. I can't just say, oh, well, that didn't happen, you know. Um... Uh, whatever, you know, just make some other bullshit up. Excuse my language, but that's not the case. Things like this happen to me. Uh, so when you hear people talking about it, and it's a coincidence, because I, I, I have found out through a lot of people that this has happened to numerous people. The portholes and the lights and all these extra little things and the smaller beings. And I'm not saying that those stories are true, because I don't know. I didn't experience that. I'm telling you what I experienced. Um, if it sounds like somebody else's story, well, maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe this is true, like what other people are saying. 
Do you understand? Like, I'm just trying to tell you what happened to me. I know what happened to me. It's true. I don't have no reason to lie. I could care less what anyone thinks. But I think we need to pay more attention. I think everybody should go in there with the mindset of they do exist. If you go in there with the mindset of they do exist, maybe more things will happen to you. <laughs> Next time you go in the woods, whether it's your phone or your camera or whatever it is, as you walk, click and click, click, click. I want you to take two, three, four hundred photos during your outing. Don't stop. I mean, take your break. Click in the trees, on the ground, walk, you know, another hundred yards, more photos. Because I noticed the minute I would hit the woods, I know they know of my presence. That's when they begin to move or, or leave their area and go to another area. So that's when I would actually catch certain things on photo. Like, I didn't see it. It might have been 100 yards away. But after I went through the photos, when I got home and zoomed through everything, that's when I was able to tell, hey, look at that. What is that? Look at all them lights. Look at that little being that looks like it has a helmet on. I mean, what the hell? What, what, kind, of, what kind of shit is that? You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I have no idea. What? I, like I said, things shock me. You know what I mean? You go into shock, but I don't, I don't know what I'm catching on video. I don't. I, I caught a juvenile in a tree, which I shared with some of you. If you look on my YouTube page, uh, my YouTube page is Western New York Prepper. Um, he, I was walking, and I happened to take some photos in treetops while I walk. And uh, it looked like he was holding the tree around the back, like holding the tree around the back like this and he was snarling or something like that you could see the flared hood nose the eyes he's probably only he's fit about 15 foot in the tree because i went back and seen the area so it's about 15 foot up maybe 18 something like that uh but he could only have been ground distance 12 feet so it's like he was looking down at a few of us while we were walking past and uh like i said another lady actually caught that um um, like in the in the photo and, and said hey did you see this and I said no so I, that's when I went back and analyzed it and I was like wow you know that does scare you because you don't know I mean I do go unarmed out there because I'm trying to build a rapport with them it is dumb I mean I will carry a knife uh, I don't know how much that would do if, if one did decide to be aggressive but like I said, I do carry a knife. Uh, I believe if you carry a gun, they know that your intent... I believe they know what a gun is. Let's put it that way. And if they see it, they're, they're not going to respond. They're not going to do what you want them to do. They're not going to communicate. They're not going to give you the chance to get photos. Uh, anything like that. But then again, you know, don't be one of these people that are out there with every broken tree or... You, you know misstep in the mud or you know come on be realistic what the hell are you doing you know what i'm saying wake up wake up like you could tell what snow load wind and rot is tree you, you know you, you can see that trees that get up and are stuck upside down that's one thing trees that are placed where you know between crotches of other trees to create gates that's another thing now you have to go check did that tree have roots was there a root system in the ground where that tree fell you know maybe it did fall between those trees and land exactly like a gate if it didn't go over there is there any roots well no there's no roots within 10 feet of that tree well clear off the ground see if it is there if it's not there then you start thinking to yourself you know especially with all the teepee structures you know that you got you gotta things like that aren't normal but then again there are hoaxers you know what I mean? So you take, let's just say 90% is a hoax. The other 10% is real. And I'm telling you what is real. They're real. They exist. My experiences have told me they exist. I've seen them. I've seen other things that I cannot explain. If you don't like my pictures, that's your problem. That is not my problem. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm trying to be straightforward with you. Uh, it's my honest testimony it's my conviction it's it's i want you to understand that they are real you need to spend more time in the woods to get the photos 
like I said, don't photo everything that, oh my God, it's a tree break. The grass is cut in this little area, so he must be sleeping there. You know, if you've really got some real hardcore evidence, which 75% of the people out there don't, it, 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 that's why people make a mockery of, of people like you or me. Because of the shit you're out there doing. Oh, hey, look at There it is. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, there's a broken branch. Bigfoot must have done that. I un I get it. You know, I get you want to see it. Maybe you did have a sighting. Like I said, I feel bad for you. Um, because you can't get it out of your mind. Th that did happen to me. But like I said, you have to come back to reality. You know what I mean? Put out your trail cams. Do your baiting. Do your real hardcore research. Collect evidence. Wear your gloves. If you do get a trackway, use the right casting material. You know what I mean? Don't just go by regular plaster. Do some research. I'm not going to give it away what you're supposed to use, you know, but um, a lot of people prefer dental stone, you know. There's other things out there, but uh, certain things help. Don't forget your hairspray, I'll tell you that when you make some casts but that's neither here nor there this rant is kind of just to answer some of the things that people have posted back to me I you know I probably got in the neighborhood of a hundred uh, personal messages and some are mean some are nasty some are rude some are compassionate caring some believe it's a wide array. Like I said, I'm not looking for you to say I believe you. I know what happened. I'm glad that you believe me and I appreciate that. Um, but what I want from this is I want to prove this to everybody. I want to go there. I want to spend time. I want to, if it costs you know money, I, I, have to, I, I pay for all that. Me, you know. Anybody is more than welcome. If you are a real researcher, not a crazy nut that is off the wall thinking every little thing is a Bigfoot or a Sasquatch, uh, you're more than welcome. April, May, and June are the hot months uh, where I have a lot of sightings or evidence or things happen. Uh, and I notice it's more like the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday part of the week uh, that I do have a lot of uh, things happen. And I don't know why. I, I have no idea why. Um, but I'm just telling you, but you are more than welcome to come down, you know, stay in a hotel for a week. Uh, the hotel from the area, uh, is maybe a 15 or 20 minute drive. I can drive, we can, you can run a vehicle, whatever it may be. Uh, the hotel from my house is five minutes. Um, but I do ask if you do come down and you're going to camp or do whatever, um, I don't want you going back telling everybody, hey, this is where it's at, you know. If 10 groups of people know, that's the only people that know. I don't want the whole Facebook and YouTube land to know the exact, exact area where this is at. Because then you have problems. You know, I have nothing against certain researchers, but when you bounce from 354,000 different areas running through the woods saying, hey, this is Bigfoot, we're going to find him, and come on, man, what kind of research is that? It's no research. Spend your time. Spend six months. Spend a year. Spend three years. Do whatever you have to do in the hottest location that you can find where there's evidence and everything else. It makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, I believe there's a migration. So if there are hot sightings going on now in certain places, yes, you should get there, but you need to stay there. Whether it's a full 30 days, 45, 60 days, that's where the evidence needs to be collected from a hot area. If every 30 days there is a migration period or every 15, 20 days, you know, um, if you're just getting sightings where they just pass through, it's really not worth your time to set up research stations there. It's kind of like a deer. Uh, if the deer are just going to pass through and not be there in their staging areas and, you know, you're going to sit there all day and all night hoping for one big buck to come by, what's that worth? You know what I mean? Uh, so it's, it's all discretionary. Everybody's got their own tactics, their own ways, their own antics, their own theories. 
that's one thing. I would actually like to hear some of the best, best theories out there on where they came from, their evolution, our evolution. I know it's up in arms right now, but that intrigues me because I know they're real. And since I know they're real, that is one part that I am interested in. That means something to me. So uh, you can PM me. We can talk. I mean, uh, I try to be straightforward. Um, I don't have anything to hide. A lot of these guys, oh, I got secrets. I, I've got this. I've got that. And you can't know. And, you know, the only thing I ask is be respectful. Don't go tell everybody where we're at, you know. Don't, you know, just keep it. Whatever happened, you know, zip it. You know what I mean? You've got two ears and one mouth. God gave you that for a reason. You listen twice as much as you talk. And you're better off. Right? So, uh, on that note, you know, PM me, we can talk. I like to, to see your stories. Um, I shouldn't call them stories once again. Uh, because that sounds like a fable, like it's it's made up I should say share your experience and do me a favor don't share second and third and fourth and fifth and sixth and seventh hand my friends sisters brothers aunts cousins uncles dog seen a Sasquatch you know what I mean if it's you first hand second hand immediate family best friend that's okay I, I want to hear it I'm sharing mine I'm opening up I'm being honest like I said I don't care what anybody thinks we should all be like that. We should not care what anybody thinks. If you're bad or demonized or the industry looks bad upon you, where are they getting? What are they getting out of it? Instead of being that way, they should team up with that person. As long as they're not outlandish, as long as they're not cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, the industry should go to them and say, hey, maybe they're onto something. What do we got to lose? Let's try it. If we're all in this together to prove it, does that make sense to you? But no, let's badmouth them and, and shun them. So, there's a lot of issues going on in, in this Bigfoot whole world thing that I, gee, I can't even believe that. I don't know. But like I said, this is my testimony and this is, this is the answers to it. Uh, I'll make other videos and other parts to it as, as you guys keep commenting personal messaging me and talking to me and everything like that uh but if you don't like my photos or my evidence keep that to yourself if you want to talk about it or if you had a, a experience like that let's talk let's chat let's you know let's try to figure these things out because i have no idea what they are and as far as the porthole thing i can't help that it's not like i go out there trying to look and believe in the portholes and everything else I mean, I'm just telling you what, what happened to me. Like, I'm not cuckoo. I'm not crazy. Down to earth, got a family, dogs. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not one of these whack jobs running around out in the woods thinking everything is Bigfoot. I'm just telling you what has happened to me. And I can't explain it. I don't know what it is. So, the other people that have seen portholes, I'd like to, like to hear from them too about what they've seen or what they've heard and because I don't know what it is and I don't know why I caught that little being why did I catch a little being maybe it has nothing to do with Bigfoot at all maybe it does I don't know because the day that I caught the porthole with the little short being that I was explaining that are in some of my videos on my YouTube channel looks like it's got a helmet on uh, later that day is one of the days we had a sighting um, is, does it coincide I don't know. I have no idea. Um, but like I said, I'm just trying to get out there and uh, show everybody what I got. And this year I'm going to do a lot, lot, lot more research. Maybe I can prove it. Maybe I can't. Maybe I'm just one of these guys that runs around and tries to prove it. And then in the end, everybody looks at me like, oh, he's the crazy one. Because I was in the woods doing research while you guys sat at home and talked about it. So... I'll, uh, I'll add more to this as you uh, talk with me. Have a good one. Merry Christmas.